Welcome. In front of me is a Realme C75 and today I will show you how we can bypass Google verification on this device. So to get started, um, outside of obviously needing internet connection, uh, there is one thing that you will need that is very important and you can't kind of finish this without it. It would be another device. Now that can be any kind of Android device. I'm going to be using the OnePlus 13 for this, which I think should work, but we're going to see. Uh, sometimes not every Android will allow you to use the application for like phone cloning that we will need, but we'll see how that goes. And I'm going to just grab another phone if this one has a problem. So uh, anyway, that's one thing. Uh, now talking about the state of the actual phone right here, you can see it is locked. It's limited to the verification pattern to unlock it uh, or sign in with a Google account. One. And we also have this little lock right here that signifies the device is locked and needs to be verified. So um, if you at the beginning of the setup connect to your Wi-Fi network by proceeding forward, and from there, uh, we can basically begin. So, can I go back? And we're gonna start off with the Wi Fi connection page. Once you connect to your network, like I have done uh, here, you want to click on the eye icon next to the connected network. And then you're gonna select share. Now, I am gonna hover my hand over this as this will kind of show the QR code and the password. Uh, so there we go. But anyway, once you put, press on share at the bottom, you'll have this button, quick share. And from here, we can select continue. I'm going to click on three dots, I believe, if I remember correctly. Yep, and we're going to navigate into the settings. And here you want to select learn more about quick share. And uh, you have a bunch of blue text right here. Now we are looking specifically for interact with apps and people around you. So I think that's somewhere like closer to the bottom. Yep, it's right here. So interact with people or apps and people around you. Uh, next thing you want to do is scroll down and look for check a Wi-Fi or mobile connection. So we have it right here, a drop down menu. And once you click on that, you want to select mobile network. So just click on that. Scroll down and uh, you will find a video. When I click on it once, it will load it up. And once it loads up, you want to click on the text itself. And this will redirect us to the browser. In this video, we'll show you how to check when your Pixel phone is using 5G. Okay, uh, it looks like it didn't redirect us to browser. Uh, if you're in the browser, that's great. If you're stuck on YouTube, that's also fine. Uh, so for YouTube, there is going to be a couple additional steps. I don't know. Sometimes it opens a browser, sometimes it doesn't. But uh, we're going to click on the three dots right here, navigate into the settings. And next, we want to navigate to... Uh, let's just actually wait for this garbage to disappear. How about? There we go. It's below that black thing that was uh, there. Uh, and uh, select Google Privacy Policy. And this will then redirect us to the browser. We're going to select the option to use without an account. And in the search bar, you want to type hard reset that info slash bypass. like so. Next, we're going to start scrolling down and one of those uh, options here will be settings up. So just click on it. It will redirect us to the phone settings. And here we are looking for home screen uh, layout under home screen and lock screen. And home screen layout. Once you click on it, it will take you to the home screen. Now keep in mind, we are still in the setup stage. We just glitched our way into the home screen right now. Now, the reason I'm mentioning that is because we will be performing a factory reset later on of the device 
the root settings and you might be wondering why didn't we do that before we have home screen right now we were already in the settings and we could have access to that option uh, and i'm gonna kind of explain this right now the reason we're not uh, utilizing the reset option or right now through settings which will delete all the data uh, including protection is because right now the device is in setup stage and it knows that it's in a setup stage therefore if you were to reset the device it would be like thing considering if it's set up it's not does it have protection it does so it's going to reset and bring back the protection uh, but once we finish up the setup the device checks is it set up yes it is uh, you want to reset uh, you have access to the home screen the device is set up so cool you can reset the device and we will remove all the data including protection as at that point you would be a legitimate user of the device and if you can get this far with the device being set up and you can access all the settings that means that you're you're good to go you can reset it so uh, we first need to finish up the setup and to do so we now uh, from the home screen want to navigate to tools folder and select clone phone and then select that this is a new device and allow everything that it shows up with select that the other device is a other android or in this case i can actually select that it's a uh, oneplus as this is a oneplus but i believe it's the same thing so here i'm gonna unlock it and i'm gonna open up the application that already exists on oneplus which is the phone clone uh, but for everyone else that is using a non uh, oneplus branded device or basically they're like sub brands as you have oneplus oppo and realme this is just one big company um, and those in this case you would just navigate to your um, play store and then in a the search bar search for clone phone and uh, you'll want to download the a clone phone application now we can go with oppo uh, oneplus or i believe uh, this one possibly like i said they're all uh the same kind of thing and the applications will look basically the same even though technically this is realme this is oppo and if i were to open up the clone phone up here you can see it's the same ui same kind of same kind of uh, navigation so anyway uh once you download it if you're using a downloaded version from the play store you will not have this option uh, that this is a new device you will only have the option that this is an old device and anyway that's what you want to select and then again agree to everything and you can see we can now scan the qr code with the camera and you can see the devices are now connected and what it allows me to do is import uh, data now we're gonna basically deselect everything right now so click on the box uh, right here twice this will select everything and deselect everything at that point and then we want to scroll down and tap on apps and once you select uh, the apps category here you want to find any kind of app that has the smallest size so mm, we have some caffeine uh, that's 25 megabytes that will be pretty good option this one is even smaller that's 17 um, yeah 17 is good enough so the reason you're looking for a smaller size is because the bigger the size of an application uh, the longer it will take and actually just see facebook with a uh, half a megabyte size so that's what i'm going to select instead anyway i'm going to click on ok and then next and start migrating start migrating uh you want to confirm the pin or, or screen lock for this phone so there we go and then we're just going to type in this garbage so uh, l oh actually there is a difference so we have capital and uh, small letters there we go and you can see it's now moving over the data pretty quick because i did pick a very small uh, file size right here and it's already finished now uh, that's all we needed this device for now in here so 
some reason it says successful too, um, instead of one. Maybe I selected two applications by mistake, but in any case, uh, it says that it succeeded. Now, you might see that it failed. So it will be like, uh, the text failed will be in red and it will give you number uh, one probably. Don't worry, in either case, this worked. So next we're gonna click on done. And this brings us back to the setup, but past the point of verification. So now we can just skip edit, adding any kind of screen lock. We're gonna skip it uh, and just finish up the setup as quickly as we can. As selecting anything right here, right at this moment, it doesn't really matter. Let's like get started and this will redirect us to the home screen from which we're gonna navigate to settings. If we can find it. There we go, settings. Scroll all the way down to system and update. Backup and reset. Reset phone, erase all data, erase all data, and then click on clear. This will then, like I mentioned before, go through a factory reset of your device, but when it's done through settings after the setup, it removes every kind of thing from the device, all the protections. Right now the device is still locked and you might actually see some wonkiness, so as an example, opening it up or unlocking it. You can see we can't unlock it normally. Uh, so what you want to do is, for instance, open up something like your camera app and then close that and this works. Uh, also some controls like back gestures, I think, or home gestures don't really work too well. Uh, as I, like I mentioned, we just kind of glitched our way into the uh, home screen and actually finished up the setup by doing so this time. So when you go through the factory reset, it will reset the phone, remove everything. From there you can go through the setup in whatever way you want, as the device will be fully unlocked at that point. And once it's finished, you're basically good to go. There you shouldn't have any kind of problems anymore. So, with that being said, hopefully you found this very helpful, and if you did, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.